Hello ladies and gentlemen, how are you? Well, another Monday and I hope this finds you well. One thing we can't complain about is the lovely, lovely weather we've had. It's been beautiful so I hope you've been able to at least sit outside and have a wee bit of sunshine or a walk, your daily little bit of exercise, obviously keeping up with your Pilates for a bit of routine in that. And uh, I was just thinking the other day about this uh, self um, distancing or social distancing. And I don't know about you, but um, I find if and when I have been out, uh, if you're in a narrow road and you're trying to social distance, so maybe somebody's on this side of the pavement, there's somebody on this side of the pavement, and somebody else up the middle of the road. And I find that in this arena of social distancing, somehow in certain spaces or areas, people are almost pushed closer together. I don't know if you've ever thought about that, but I definitely did think about it, even in the park. Sometimes, you know, if you would go for a walk of an evening in normal times, um, you know, there might have been somebody a little bit further away than you, but you were on this little track and that was okay. But now, because everybody's trying to stay away from everybody else, you walk towards the park and then maybe there's somebody coming towards you in front of you, there's somebody over this direction, over that direction, so they're all spread out. But in some respects, because you need to social distance, they're actually closer to you. So there you go, that's your sermon for today. So nice relaxing Pilates class for those of you that are diehard Pilates people. Um, you tried your little challenge yesterday of your squats, lunges and press ups and I um, hope you enjoyed it. So nice big deep breath in as always. Before we start just remember posture, set it up, toes forward, slightly soft at the knees so no lock out and um, ribs connected to the hips, shoulders away from the neck, head nice and tall, nice length in the spine. Remember to work at your own fitness level and ability to rest if you need to. If there is anybody that is joining in on our classes, folks, that doesn't normally come to me, just be careful, any high blood pressure, low blood pressure, remember to think about how you feel, try and make sure that there hasn't been any major operations in the last couple of years that would give you any bother. Uh, always make sure that you, know, you are well and fit enough to do exercise. Although you can try little bits of it, do it bit by bit. You don't have to keep all the repetitions going or all the movements. Always listen to your own body and rest down when you need to. My regulars will be fed up listening to me telling them that because I tell them all the time before every class. But those things never change. Try not to be doing any movements where you feel your back pulling away from the floor or your ribs lifting upwards. Try and remember to breathe through your movements. That's just an in-breath and an out-breath. Nothing challenging about the breathing, only the fact that I've asked you to think about it. Enjoy and remember, rest down if you need to. Two good movements better than six crap ones. Nice big deep breath in. Exhale, breathe in. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale through the nose. Exhale one more time. I want you just to bring your hands to the front of your hips and just bring yourself into hinge position. So you're pushing back with your bum towards the wall behind you, shoulders away from your neck. So you feel as if you're in an L shape. And breathe in, lift. Body weight back in the heels of the feet. Exhale, push the bum all the way back, shoulders relaxed. You should just start to feel that stretch up the calf muscles, up the hamstrings, a little bit of a stretch in different areas if you did the challenge yesterday. Exhale back. Now bring your body weight back into your heels a little bit. Focus on the stretch, long legs but not locked at the knees, shoulders away from the neck, breathe in, lift. Exhale down. And breathe in through the nose and lift, just normal breathing. Exhale as you go into your movement. Inhale as you prepare for it. Exhale. The most important thing, ladies and gentlemen, is that you do not forget to breathe, okay? Your body needs oxygen as you exercise, so continue to breathe in and out rather than hold your breath, exhale, which is what we do normally when we're exercising. We tend not to focus, we're not thinking, and before long we realize we're 
not breathing at all. One more time, nice and breath. I want you to push your fingertips right forward towards me. If you can, push your bum back, hold your body weight in the heels of your feet, shoulders relaxed, chin to chest and neck and line, inhale up. Anybody, any issues with the back of their hamstrings? You could soften your knees a little bit, but keep the bum back and the knees above the ankles. Inhale, lift. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, if you are new to me or if you're not, Continue your movements because my style of teaching, as you well know, is constant. I teach all the way through the movements, all the way through the classes. If you stop every time I want to tell you something, you would be doing nothing. Exhale, bum back. Now lengthen that spine. Feel that stretch up the back of the legs. Arms forward and as you push your arms forward, you feel the draw on the core. Inhale, lift. Exhale, push the fingertips forward towards me or keep your hands on your thighs if you prefer. Inhale, lift. So gentle lift, pubic bone towards the waist. Exhale. You're gonna hold here. Now tuck your chin in towards your chest and slowly soften the knees if you need to, otherwise keep them lengthened. Now drop your arms so that they're heavy and hanging to the floor. Nice breath in. Lift the belly button back a little bit and slowly bring the spine back up. Head is the last thing that should come up. Shoulders away from your neck and breathe in at the top. Into forward bend, arms up, shoulders down, ribs connected. Lift the trunk of your body up, out, and over the front of your thighs. Now don't do what people normally do, which is to force the fingers down, to stretch the arms to the floor, no force. Inhale, now roll the spine back up on itself and those arms know where they live. They don't need you to draw them back. If you just focus on the spine and lift the spine up, well, hey, your arms are already there. Inhale, exhale. Nice and loose, arms like a rag doll, just hanging from your shoulders, breathe in. Lift the tummy a little bit to support the back if you need to and slowly build the spine back up one vertebrae at a time. Look, shoulders fall away from neck, whoa, head up. Inhale, exhale. This is a beautiful movement in Pilates, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, a little bit like your segmental shoulder bridge. Now make sure the top of your head is facing the floor if possible. Chin towards your chest and restack the spine. Lovely. Forward bend. I always think it relaxes everybody in class. Down, exhale. Nice and loose. Remember, everything about your Pilates, continue your movement, should be fluid flowing into your movements, not force, no angst, no pressure, just flow. Nice in-breath, lift the belly button and breathe out as you lift. Anytime I coach you on your in-breath and your out-breath, if you run out of breath, just breathe in and out again, okay? Nice breath, feet wide. Now we're just going to push the bum back and pull away from your left leg. Breathe in, lift, push the bum back and pull away from a long right leg, toes are forward on both feet. Inhale, exhale down, push the bum back. So instead of this, knees forward, okay? You don't want this. The bum goes backwards. And just bend the knee. And look, your knee should just be above your ankle. You should feel a stretch on the inside of the thigh. Inhale up, exhale down. Breathe in. Breathe out, bum back. And the ribs are just over the thighs. Toes are forward, feeling the stretch on the inside of the groin on the left leg. Breathe in up. Exhale down, push back. Breathe in. I want you to lean yourself down on your right thigh. I want you to open your chest out to me and extend that left arm up to the ceiling. Shoulders away from your neck. Breathe in, bring that arm down. Press across the left leg. Arm on the left thigh. Open the chest out towards me, hand above the shoulder. Or if possible, if not, hand here or you can place your hand on your hip. Modify your movements down to suit yourself. Breathe in, down, push across, and open the chest. Now feel the chest open. This shoulder joint is just dropping in towards the midline of the back of your spine. Breathe in, down, push across, exhale up. Breathe in, lower, push across through the legs. Lift, now remember that right knee is above the right ankle, shoulder away from the neck. Breathe in. Push across, open the chest, up. Inhale, two more times. Breathe out, lift. Inhale, down. Remember always the importance of your breath, folks. It connects with your abdominal muscles almost naturally. 
breathe in and support the back. Hands on the knees, pull up through the tummy and release the bum out to the back wall. Now pull your hips forward to me by pulling on your abdominal muscles and then release back out. Exhale, pull your belly button back towards the spine. Breathe in, release. Exhale, pull the belly button back towards the spine, push it away. Pull it in, exhale. Breathe in, push it away. Now remember, when you pull your tailbone in, continue if you can. When you pull your tailbone in, don't pull your shoulders up around your neck and take your roundness into your upper back or uh, shoulders. You want to pull the abdominals from the front of your pubic bone internally towards your belly button and that creates a strong pelvic tilt. And then tuck it back out two more times. Exhale, so when your hands are on your thighs, try not to push into them, which is a natural reaction. Inhale. Another thing is try not to come up like that when you do it. Stay over the floor and just draw that invisible line upwards from your pubic bone towards your belly button. Tuck it out. Two more times. Exhale. Inhale. Last one. And gently roll up through your spine. It's more difficult than you imagine. Heels and toes out. So look down at your feet. Nice V shape between your feet. Now try and squeeze the inner thighs together. Squeeze the buttocks in a little bit. Hands on the hips. Open the chest. Shoulders down. Head tall. Exhale. Lift. Inhale. Lower. Breathe out. Lift. Now again, strong and long, length it. Just imagine very nicely that I grabbed the top of your head and lifted you to the ceiling. Inhale down, and try not to fall forward. Exhale up, breathe in. Squeeze the buttocks and the thighs together, exhale. Inhale down, breathe out, lift. Inhale lower, we're going to do eight. Exhale, breathe in, and seven. And six. Now give a little look at your feet and see are they still in a V shape or have they sort of turned themselves out? Because they will do. Four. Three to go. Breathe out. Inhale. Two to go. One more. I'm going to hold at the top. Remember, tall to the ceiling and pulse it up for eight. Seven. Six. Five. Smooth. Four. Three. Two. One, rest time. Lovely, just shake your legs out. Now, we're going to gently take ourselves to the floor. Nice Pilates fashion. Hand down. Now, any issues with your knees, place your pillow or your towel, which you should always have at half your knee, knees, underneath your knee or knees or hands. Modifying from this position, you will come down here. You can hold your arms in this position. Elbow below the shoulder, palms down, or one potato, two potato, and rest your head on your top potato. Okay, now hands below the shoulders, nice extension on the right leg, and I want you to breathe out and lift that leg. Now check that your left knee is directly below your hip and not stuck in here underneath your pubic bone. Okay, so your knee below your hip, not in the middle of you. Exhale, lift. Inhale, down. Your elbows are soft, not bent, but just soft. Shoulders relax. Exhale, up. Now I want you to think, when you lift that leg away from the floor, can you keep your both hips level? So imagine a tray on the back of your hips. So you don't want your hip like that. No good. Think of what that does to the alignment of your spine. Exhale, up. Inhale, down. Breathe out, lift. Inhale. And continue if you can. Five to go. If you always think about the lengthening of your movement, the position of your movement, you will find that you shouldn't be able to lift that leg like that. Okay? Because once you lift it like that, if you're not strong in your center or you're not aware of holding your core, your lower back is taking all that work. Now, we're going to do eight a little bit faster. And lift and seven. You should just be able to feel the contraction in your gluteal muscles as your bum and not in your back. Three, two, if you weren't focused and your leg was swinging up and down like that, you would go into your back. So don't do that. Two, one, hold here. Now small circle for eight, 
seven. Now circle your foot as it's attached to your leg rather than this. Okay, and four. Shoulders relaxed, three. And two. And one. We're going to breathe in and take that back in the opposite direction. Exhale. Seven. Six. Five. And four. Keeping the hips level. Three. And two. And one. And bring that knee in and sit back. Now separate your knees. Tuck your chin towards your chest. Arms fully extended. Forehead on the floor. Or bring your pillow or towel underneath your forehead. Or bend your elbows and rest them on the floor. That will make the stretch around the top of your neck and shoulders a little bit less intense. If you've got reasonably good range of movement and that feels comfortable or comfortably uncomfortable as a good stretch should feel, then you can increase. If you have one good arm, one arm that's not so good, or shoulder or elbow, just bend that one on the floor. Feeling that? Just keep your hands underneath your forehead and sit back on your bum. If your knees or your lower back or your hips don't allow you to sit back, then don't sit back. Hold your bum up high like this and you can still get the benefit of the lengthening of the spine without the same pressure on your knees. Lovely. And we're going to reset. Knees below the hips. Nice flat back. Shoulders away from the neck. I like to come up here. If your hands are flat on the floor, you've got to remember, you've got to remember not to be pushing your body weight into the heel of your hands. That's what makes you feel as if your wrist is sore and that's what puts people off doing movements like this. Now you can modify and come all the way down or just come up on the fingers, make two fists and lean into the front part of your knuckle. Place your hands over the top of your pillow. Anything that you need to do to relieve this thing here. And most people think, oh, it's age. It can be. It can be a little bit of wear and tear, a little bit of arthritis. The thing to remember is mentally, don't push your body weight in here. If you're doing Pilates, your strength comes from here. So if you think about less pressure in your hands, and more control from here, as if you were being held slightly to the ceiling through the back of your belly button. Nice long left leg, check your posture, exhale lift, inhale down, breathe out lift, inhale, exhale, feeling the lengthening in that leg, toe pointed towards the opposite side of the room, facing your bum, soft elbows, Shoulders relax, trying to keep that levelness over your mat. Exhale, lift, inhale down. And every time you lift that leg, as if I've got your big toe in my hand, pulling the, the leg, lengthening it, rather than just shoving it up and down. Last two. Last one. Now hold and circle. Eight, seven. And as you start to fatigue or you feel your muscles feeling a little bit tired, that's when you start to lose your focus. That's when you start to bend your elbows or you drop your head or you lose your postural alignment. Three. You're better to rest down than to continue and lose control. Nice breath in. Back the other way. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And bring that knee in and sit back towards your heels or bum up, elbows extended out or bent, pillow or towel underneath your head or not, and breathe in through your nose and big out breath through your open mouth. Try and relax into that stretch, ladies and gentlemen. Just be aware of the hip line, the lengthening through the spine. The neck in line with the spine. Lovely. And breathe in. Now we're going to hold on all fours. If possible, I want you to tuck your toes underneath your ankles. And I just want you to lift your knees, just your knees, up off the floor. Okay? So nice in breath. Exhale, lift. And hold for ten. Nine. Eight, seven, 
Keep holding if you can, come out of the movement if you need to, and remember where your power is. Up through the back of your belly button, tight to the ceiling, rest down. Lovely. Good work. Now, if you've got dodgy big toes or little toes or dodgy any toes, you could just push the front of your feet into the floor and lift your knees and maybe some of you might find that a little bit more comfortable. If you find too much pressure when you bring your knees back down, again just push in, lift. What you don't want is the moon me, okay? So you don't want to lift your bum away up there like that. So nice breath in. Exhale, just move the knees just so I can get a stamp underneath them. Shoulders relax, elbows soft. Always be careful because like plank, you know what happens. Chin comes in, shoulder muscles are pulled up around the neck, our elbows are dug into the floor, so you're getting more work through the upper body and arms rather than through the tummy muscles and rest down. And everybody's okay? Shoulders relax, neck in line, breathe in, toes under or toes out, and lift the knees. Just a small distance off the floor. Hold for eight, seven, six. Five, soft elbows, four, three, two, one, and rest time. Lovely, sit back. Very good. Now we're going to come forward onto our belly. Lovely. Press your pillow or towel away for now. And molding. Elbows out to the side. Nice in breath. Push the hips into the floor. Feet hip distance. Shoulders relaxed. Chin in line with the chest and exhale lift. Now don't ram yourself up, don't lock out your elbows because look what it does to your shoulders. Shoulders in the back. Breathe in down. Only come up as far as it's comfortable for you ladies and gentlemen. Exhale, push the hips down into the floor, breathe out, lift the top rib. Elbows are still soft, shoulders away from the neck. Breathe in down. Exhale lift. Pushing the hips down into the floor, keeping the shoulders relaxed, elbows soft, breathe in down. So when you come back down, continue if you can. If not, watch and listen. When you come back down, you don't want your elbows to be stuck up there like that because straight away your alignment is off around your neck. And when you push in, you're going to shove in like that and create um, tension around the neck and shoulders. So big out breath. And your aim is to lift your top rib a little bit, if possible, off the floor. If not, keep it down. Keep the shoulders away from your neck. Breathe in, release. Exhale, lift. Breathe in, down. And if you run out of breath, just breathe in and out again. Exhale. Breathe in. Now, those of you newer to me or newer to deep breathing or newer to exercise will maybe be thinking, oh my God, every time she says breathe out, I'm breathing in. If I had a pound for everybody who said that to me, I might be rich. Inhale, lower. Exhale. We all tend to hold our breath on effort or exercise. Four to go, exhale, lift. So it's natural to think that way. Nothing difficult about the breathing, just that I've asked you to think about it. So we breathe out on effort so that the out breath connects with the pelvic floor muscles and the tummy and gives our lower back a bit of protection. One more time. Exhale. And breathe in, release. Now we're going to bring the hands around the side, varying positions and ways of doing swan dive. Lovely to look at in the book. Lovely to watch uh, from a balletic point of view. The trouble is that if we Bring people up with their arms here. In reality, if you're not strong in the back muscles or you have any particular problems or issues with your back, what happens is we tend to yank ourselves up with our arms, okay? So no yanking with me, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna keep the arms flat on the floor, chin to chest, so slight elevation here. Hips to the floor, breathe out, lift. Inhale, down. Exhale, lift. So the eyes stay towards the floor. Much and all as you may feel, you want to look out here. If you think about your neck alignment, it's all impinged down on the top of your spine if you bring your chin out in front. Also, the chin pushed out in front gives you a false illusion of coming up off the floor. 
When you're then asked to bring your chin in, you think, oh my goodness, I haven't moved. Exhale. Inhale down, elbows are soft. Breathe out, lift. Try not to push your toes into the floor. You want to use the strength of your abdominals, the support of your out breath, to just gently move the chest upwards and off the floor. And you can feel those muscles that line the outside of your spine just contracting. Exhale. It's a strength movement. Breathe out, lift. We'll do two more. Nice and smooth. You don't want to shove it up. Last one. Exhale. And breathe in lower. We're going to bring the hands onto the pillow or towel, onto the mat, and just rest your forehead on your arms. Shoulders nice and relaxed. Now, while you're lying there, never want to miss something. So I want you just to think about your belly. So if you go towards your waist and down towards the front of your pubic bone, I want you to breathe in through your nose and on your exhalation, I want you to draw a line from your pubic bone up towards your belly button. So you feel as if your tummy's moving up your mat and then release and do that on your exhalation. Exhale, pull the abdominals internally from the front of your pubic bone up towards your belly button and re release. So you want to feel yourself moving this way rather than pulling backwards. Nothing should move off the floor. Exhale, inhale, release. Breathe out, now keep the shoulders relaxed. So anybody new to that kind of movement may feel that the elbows dig into the floor. My regulars just continue. Uh, or that the shoulders come up around the neck. Again, that's loss of posture, which is natural to happen. So shoulders relax, breathe out, lift, inhale down. And you don't want to pull so tightly that your hips are pushing down into the mat too much because then you're creating a pelvic tilt and you're misaligning your posture there. So exhale, a sense of a lift from your pubic bone up towards your waist. Breathe in, release. You may feel a little bit of tightening on your uh, glute muscles. Some may say squeeze your buttocks, but I think your bum muscles know what they need to do if you're working the other part correctly, okay? Two to go, exhale. Inhale one more time and pull. Now I want you to hold that lift, so from your pubic bone towards your waist, hold that contraction, now pulse it up. So release it a little bit and pull, release and pull, release and pull, Release and pull for six, and five, pull, and four, pull, and three, pull, and two, pull, and one, pull, and release. Hands just below your shoulders, push your chest off the floor, bring your belly up, and roll around onto your back. Lovely. Nice in breath, we're gonna relax the shoulders, pillow or towel underneath your head, and arms nice and long by the side of your hips. Now, for those of you with uh, issues, uh, with the top of the hip, hip flexors, buttocks, anything like that, nice little leg drop out. So nice in breath and let your leg fall out. Breathe in back, exhale. And remember that doesn't mean that we're all crocs. Exhale. Different people have different things going on for different reasons. Doesn't necessarily have to have anything to do with age, folks. And as you well know, there's lots of you that come to me that are super, super fit and don't have any problems with your hips or inner thighs or outer thighs. Although some of the runners do have little issues here and there with twinges. So we've got to work as much as we can. Keep the hips nice and level. Breathe out, drop. Breathe in back. Now, a lot of people are nervous when they're doing something like this and they tend to hold back a little bit. Now, that's always important to listen to your own body. We do four more. However, if we don't give that leg a little bit of freedom, we're not quite sure what it can do. Now, for those of you who have issues with your hips, obviously be very careful. For those of you who can, uh, haven't, you also be very careful. Last two. Now remember to keep your left hip flat to the floor. You don't swing that leg out and then roll your opposite hip up. That goes into your lower back. So you've got to think of your tummy muscles. And lovely. Now we're going to bring that foot across. 
and up the front of the left thigh, okay? I want you to make sure your bum is level and flat to the floor. Because this leg is over here, it's going to pull down. You're not going to allow it to pull down. You're going to keep the back of your left hip as tight to the floor as possible by just being aware of your tummy muscles. So if you have to draw up a little bit to hold them there, then well and good. Now, nice in breath, the arms to go back just to the side of our ears. Exhale forward, chin to chest, eyes on the gap through the thighs, arms loose. So run with this kind of thing. Down, breathe in back. Exhale, chin to chest. Now, I like when I get a chance to do the class, and normally when I'm teaching, I don't ever get to do my own classes uh, because I'm always showing you your demonstrations. I demonstrate, and then I obviously up around the floor watching you. So, always be careful of the fact that you don't do things like this, folks, okay? Those shoulders should not be in front of your chest. They should be in your back. Arms are loose, breathe in. Because if you're only up here because your arms are forcing you forward, that's not really Pilates. You should feel that here. Inhale, exhale. Keep the left hip flat to the floor. Breathe out, chin to chest, roll forward. Breathe in back. Back of the hips flat to the floor. Exhale. Inhale. Two to go. Breathe out. Breathe in. One more. Now we're going to hold here. Those of you that can, chin to chest, and we're going to pulse. Now remember, what we're pulsing is your ribs to your hips, not your arms. Your arms move as a consequence. The rest of you, hands either side of your head, or one to support your neck for eight. Remember, you're never pulling your head, you're supporting it. Five and four, and three, and two, and one, and rest. Right arm out, shoulders relaxed, nice in breath. Now I want you to focus on the front of your left shoulder and bring it across the rainbow, okay? Or our uh, hook line. And I want you to lift it in the direction of the inside of your knee, not your elbow, your shoulder. Inhale back. Exhale, left hip stays on the floor. Right arm out to the side of the shoulder. And you can use this hand just to give you a little bit of leverage. Make a little TP. Remember, TP, not PP, with your hand, fingertips on the floor, wrist up. Exhale, lift, keep the left hip on the floor. Breathe out, four to go. Remember that elbow does not come in around your face. Bad alignment. Lift the shoulder, two to go, last one, hold it up for eight, seven, six, remember as if you're going just up the curve of the rainbow, four, and three, and two, and one, never pulling the head, and last one, and rest down, lovely, I hope you felt that, right leg down, hips nice and level, shoulders relaxed, Nice breath in, reset, spine lengthened, ribs down, and we're going to drop out that left leg, but you forgot what we were doing, okay? So if I move this leg down, you can see, exhale, drop, breathe in back. So there's always going to be a draw on this right hip simply because of the way that leg falls out and the weight of it on the top of your body. But you're doing Pilates, so you're going to breathe out, hold through the core. Just that gentle awareness of how you can connect from your pubic bone towards your waist will stabilize your hips. Breathe in, exhale. And if you have any aches or pains, listen. Your body will let you know. So you don't need to drop wide, all you need to do is to move a little bit. A little bit of movement is better than no movement ever at all. Exhale. Three to go, breathe out. You can always bring your hand onto that right hip and help it to stay down if you need to. Two to go, left leg out. Breathe in. Exhale, left leg out. And breathe in. Now we're going to gently, I hope for my regulars that music is very relaxing. I just know how you all feel now when you're lying down in front of me having to do your classes. <laughs> so don't be going to sleep. My right foot, our left foot across and up. Okay? You can feel a slight stretch on the inner groin also. 
Make sure you lift your bottom set up back down, level the hip line, and make sure you don't feel as if your lower hip is slightly skewed with it. Okay, breathe in through the nose, arms go back. Exhale, curl, chin to chest, eyes through the center, and breathe in back. Exhale, flow forward. Arms down and shoulders relax. Breathe in. Breathe out. Now, again, if you wish to modify, you could just take one hand to the side of your head, fingers nice and wide, two hands if you wish, and support your head as it comes forward. Breathe in back. Exhale. Inhale. Breathe out. Flow. Arms low, shoulders relax, ribs to hips, inhale back, exhale curl, inhale. You can just feel the back of your hips gripping the floor. Inhale back, exhale. So what you don't want to do is pull your contraction so tightly that your lower back is stuck in the floor and you can feel the back of your bum curling up. Big out breath. Inhale. Exhale, curl. Breathe in, back two to go. Exhale, shoulders down. Breathe in, last one, hold, ribs to hips. Now again, one hand, two hands, no hands, and pulse. What are we pulsing? The ribs to the hips for eight, seven, six, five. Chin down. If you feel your head dropping back, support it with your arms, your hands. Two, one, and rest down. Lovely. Left arm out to the side, relax the shoulders, reset your posture, make sure your, your clothes are not pulling you down to the mat, fingertips, little teepee, remember, on the floor, right hand, fingers as wide as possible, full half of the right half of the head, and we're going to lift that right shoulder over the rainbow towards the inside of that knee or left hip. Exhale. Breathe in. Now, bad habit is to lift this hip up, even the tiniest little bit. I raised it high there. That's exaggerated so you can see what I mean. Exhale. So as you come across, keep that right hip down. Your abdominals will have a part to play in that. So out breath. That's what I was going to say earlier on, folks. I don't get the chance always to do my classes because as I said, I'm teaching you all. But I notice that when I do do the classes with you, I tend to emphasize my out breath, okay? Because I can hear it then and I know if I've done it. I think if you don't do that, you tend to breathe in, breathe out. You don't know whether you're breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth, in and out through your mouth, in and out through your nose. So I would say it's good to breathe in, breathe out. And I think it makes it more simple for you to grasp, rather than, uh, especially if you're new to Pilates, thinking about how strange the breathing is. It's not strange, just exhale, inhale. Two to go, breathe out, breathe in. Last one, hold this one up and pulse. Eight, seven, six, and again, rather than thinking about swinging yourself over like that, continue if you can. Think about the back of your shoulder blade lifting for four, three, two, one, and rest down. Lovely. Now, stretch that leg down the mat. Stretch the other one down the mat. Stretch the arms up if that's comfortable. Now, don't force your arms ever down to the floor if you don't feel as if your neck and shoulders allow you to do so. You can always raise them a little bit higher. You can take them out to the side or you can keep them down here. Ribs down in your midsection, hips nice and level. Now all I want you to do is to pull your toes back towards your ankles. Chin slightly tucked towards your chest so the back of your, your neck is lengthened. And breathe in through your nose, roll across the back of your bum. That's just a safety point for me, folks. Uh, I feel it opens up your hips a little bit better and uh, your lower back's not all impinged in on itself. Now palms towards the ceiling, and all I want you to do is to inhale through the nose. On your exhalation, just squeeze and lift the hips a tiny little bit up off the floor. Now don't shove them up. Don't force yourself into a position. Breathe out. Inhale, release. Exhale. 
So the bowl mightn't feel as if it leaves the floor at all, but just exhale through your mouth, press the back of the lower legs a little bit closer to the floor, as if you were having a sense of your bum leaving the mat. Breathe out. Or imagine two drawing pins. Yeah, some might sound sadistic. Just on the floor, underneath each cheek of your bum. Now, what would you naturally do? I, ideally, naturally, you would wipe the bum off the floor, but I don't want you to do that. I want you to have a sense of getting the cheeks of your bum off the tip of the drawing pin without actually shoving your hips up. So it's, it's what I would call a sense of a lift. You can feel the cheeks of your bum slightly raising off those imaginary drawing pins. Exhale. You could think about the heels of your feet and push them into the floor a little bit. And imagine two strings attached to your hips, just as you breathe out, just drawing through your center, your hips a little bit to the ceiling. Four to go, exhale, breathe in down, breathe out. Again, if that's not comfortable for you, then you don't do it. Last one, and relax. Now slide your right foot toward your bum, left foot toward your bum, roll across your hips, and I just want you to lift yourself up and forward, clear your shoulder line, elbows in your peripheral eye line, not here and not here. Definitely not here with me, ladies and gentlemen. And it's a good thing because with me having extra large ribs, for want of a better way of explaining them, when I draw my elbows back towards the floor, you can see how that affects my natural alignment with my spine because the ribs in, in everybody's body, more or less, will lift themselves upwards. That affects the alignment of your back. So your back is now more hyperextended than it needs or should be. So always keep your ribs down. Keeping your elbows in your peripheral eye, eye line, which is just the side of your eye, without having to turn your head to see them, will rectify that positioning of your back. Just twinged a muscle in the lower back, trying to show you that. That's when I do most of my damage. So nice breath in. I want you to curl head, neck and shoulders forward. I want you to think of the back of your right shoulder slightly over the rainbow to your hip and other side over the rainbow to your hip. Exhale, inhale. Now try not to pull your head. As you go up and over, just take your hand away from your head and move your shoulder. I think because what happens is when you're um, able to keep your hands on your head, if you're tiring, and we all tire folks, no matter how fit we think we are, as you roll, you tend to yank on your head. So don't do that. If the hand's not there, you can't do it. So four to go. Exhale over and three sets. Breathe out, breathe in. Exhale and two and one and rest down. Lovely. Now just gently take your relaxation position, ladies and gentlemen. So pillow or towel underneath your head, roll your buttocks in towards the crease of your bum so that your hips open and your feet fall out naturally to the sides of your ankles. Do the same with your shoulders. So walk them in towards the middle line of your spine, your chest opens, palms can rotate naturally to the ceiling, without you trying to twist through the wrist joints because your shoulders are not aligned uh, at the time when you try to do that. Eyes are closed. Newbies or those newer to class, newbies is a bit of a twee word, isn't it? Hands like so across the midsection. Nice big deep breath in through the nose. Now, if you breathe into your hand, you can feel your two middle fingers moving away. Exhale. And you just feel those two middle fingers moving back. That gives you focus. You can feel how as you breathe in through your nose and your lungs expand, it presses against your ribs, pushes them up. And as you exhale and the lungs deflate, those two middle fingers move back together again. So good focus for your mind. The other thing, continue, is to breathe in through your nose for a count of six in your head. 
hold your breath at the top and exhale, 10, 9, 8, breathe out, 7, 6, 5, keep breathing, 4, 3, 2, 1 and relax. Breathe in through your nose for 6, 5, breathe in, 4, keep breathing in, 3, breathe in, 2, breathe in, 1, hold your breath, exhale. Keep breathing out, keep breathing out until your lungs feel as if they're empty. And relax. A nice in breath through your nose. Breathe in, eyes are closed. Shoulders away from the neck, ladies and gentlemen. Hold your breath at the top. Open your mouth and push that breath out for 10, 9. Keep pushing it out here. Now don't force it out, but just let it leave the body through your mouth. Listen to the sound of it. Remember, if you cannot breathe in for a count of six, just make sure your out breath is longer than the in breath that you took. And relaxing, nice breath in through the nose. Breathe in six, try and get the breath to come into the middle of your body, not to your upper body. Hold at the top, exhale. Just feel on the exhalation your body, just sinking, sinking, sinking in towards the floor on your finishing out breath relax before you take your next in breath and breathe in breathe in breathe in breathe in breathe in breathe in hold exhale let it go 10 9 8 7 push it out 5 4 3 2 1 and relax and breathe in through the nose Six, breathe in five, breathe in four, three, two, hold on one, and big out breath, ladies and gentlemen. Shoulders relaxed, just feeling the anxiety, tension, stress, just leaving your body as you exhale. One more time, nice breath in through the nose, breathing energy into the body, ladies and gentlemen. Hold the breath for a second at the top, open your mouth and breathe out that stress and tension. Just feel your body sinking a little bit deeper, a little bit more relaxed into the floor as you exhale. Now, keeping your eyes closed, just pull your toes back towards your ankles and point your toes away from your ankles. Pull them back, point them away. You can still continue your deep breathing or you can resort, resort back to your shallow breath if you prefer. Point the toes away, pull the toes back. Point the toes away, pull the toes back. Slide the feet towards your bum. Lift the bum a little bit, set it back down. Pull the knees in towards your chest. Curl your head, neck and shoulders forward. Slide the hands through the gap in the thighs and underneath the calf muscles. Now for those of you who find that a little bit challenging for whatever reason, you can take your hands on the front of your shins. Either way, we want to bring the head and neck back towards the floor or the pillow and shoulders down towards the mat. So for most of us, our shoulders are slightly pulled forward at this point. I want you to breathe in and on your exhalation, just pull those shoulders back or imagine that my hands are on the front top of your shoulders, just gently pressing them towards the floor as you breathe out. Inhale, release. Exhale, pull those shoulders gently back towards the floor. Feeling that stretch up the inside of the groin. Also, chin towards the chest, neck nice and lengthened. And breathe in, release. Just take the hands around the outside of the thighs or the inside of the thighs and extend the legs all the way up towards the ceiling. Pull the toes back towards the ankles. And again, bring the shoulders back towards the floor. Nice breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. And gently bend those knees, feet to the floor, slowly lift. Just press the feet into the floor, squeeze the buttocks, feel the stretch down the front of the thighs. Again, only come up as far as is comfortable for you. We lift the heels slowly, vertebrae by vertebrae, drop each vertebrae back towards the floor of the spine. Now, in order to get the waist into the floor, you've got to really increase the contraction from the pubic bone towards the waist. So pull those tummy muscles up tight. 
get the waist into the floor and gently roll out through the back of the bum. We're going to breathe in through the nose. Exhale, pull the belly button right back. Peel the bum up into the waist. Up as far as is comfortable for you, no further. You can remove your pillow or towel if you feel it's shoving your uh, chin down into your chest. Breathe in. Exhale as you come down. Nice and level through the spine. Pull up the abdominals and print the small of the back into the floor and gently roll out through the back of the hips. Step your feet away from me. Slide your bum away from me. Roll your knees to me. Your shoulders follow. Push up with the front hand. Now be careful, especially if you're not used to uh, deep breathing, ladies and gentlemen, because it can make you feel a little bit lightheaded. Just because maybe your body's not so used to taking in um, as much oxygen into your lungs. Knees nice and wide. I want you just to pad your hands out towards me. I don't want you to come all the way down to the floor, but I want you to push into the hands gently. And I want you to tuck your bum back to the wall behind you until you feel a stretch up in the thighs into your adductor muscles and around the outside towards your abductors and your glutes. Now lengthen the arms, push the palms down and you should be able to feel a stretch through the arms also. Slowly walk the hands back towards the gap between knees. Bring the knees into line. Roll forward into box position, toes underneath your ankles, roll back into your hunkers if you can, bum to the ceiling, nice in breath, arms are loose and we're back into our downward uh, stretch position, lift the abdominals or forward stretch and slowly bring that spine back up one vertebra at a time, let the shoulders roll gently down into the back, oh lovely, lovely, we did it, nice breath in, exhale, Breathe in, breathe out one more time, ladies and gentlemen, and give yourselves a big clap. Well done, good work. I hope you enjoyed that. And remember, stay safe, look after yourself, wash your hands, keep your distance, and we'll get there. We'll get there in the end. Remember, each day is another day closer towards the other side. Ladies and gentlemen, I miss you all very much and hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.